Welcome back to Ted Rubber Gaming. I'm Ed, and today is a near top of the league clash against Don Bosco. Yar. So yes, guys, welcome back to Ted Rubber Gaming. I'm Ed, and today we do face Don Bosco at the top of the table. They are the odds-on favourites to win the league. I think they're actually in... Well, they won't be in the Champions League this season. No, well, the sort of North American Champions League. But they're probably going to get it in this season. I'm just enjoying a spot of uh, Kraken Black Spiced Rum. As you saw from the intro, we followed up our 0-0 first day draw against uh, Sudest, which was just terrible to watch. I do apologise. Uh, we beat America Haiti 1-0. So they beat us in the friendly 2-1. I think it was a last-minute winner, but we just never looked like losing this 1-0, really. I did record that for my tactical video. I've not edited it yet, but it was really painful to record. So I don't know if I'm actually going to release it. We'll see. Um, I guess if you didn't see it, then you saw the goal from that just now. Other than that, we did beat Racing Club Haitian 3-0. So this is where Takuto Yuki, uh, the new Japanese player we signed, um, he scored two goals in his debut. In addition, we got a five-star Venezuelan centre-back, Orlando Galindo. Uh, he's just ridiculous, isn't he? Five stars. He's probably one of the best in the league, maybe. Star player for most sides. So, yeah, he's going to be up there. So, that's good news. I actually found those guys through... Well, the Japanese guys through a scout. You know, like a random... Please consider signing me. Uh, there was another left-back that popped up. But when I went to offer him a trial, he didn't want one because he already had a contract offer elsewhere. And now clearly way better than us. That was a shame. But the striker's come in. He doesn't look great, uh, Takuto Yuki. He's also got a minor injury, so you won't actually see him today. But finishing a five and playing him in deep line forward role at the moment. He's got no finishing. He doesn't really have passing as much as finishing is not a necessity for that role. But it should be pretty useful. <laughs> Everything else is kind of okay. He's not the best, but I think he just makes the best of it. He got in the right positions a lot during that last game, the 3-0 win. He just struggled to actually finish. But um, getting the positions is one of the main things. So yes, today we do face Don Bosco. And they are, from what I can see, the best team in the division by an absolute mile. Uh, their key player, 30-year-old Haitian centimetre, look like, from what I can see, actually looks like an actual football player. Um, 8.3 average so far. So we'll see how it goes. Again, I don't really know what to expect per se, but you just they look good. Um, how they've done in the league so far. So they are top of the league. So 12 points in four games. They've won 5 1 5 1 6 1 5 2. <laughs> oh dear. So lots of goals, basically. Lots of goals. They haven't kept a clean sheet though, and we've done nothing but keep clean sheets. So we're going okay. Um, a win here, and all of a sudden. You'd say that top position is in our hands. It's only three games into the season. We're already looking at top position. How ridiculous is that? Finance is not looking as good. So, uh, yeah. What do you say to that? We have just signed that uh, Venezuelan guy. I had to pay money for him. It was like 18k. So, obviously, I just took that out of the wage budget. So, we're currently spending a K on wages. And we've got 6.5 left of that to play with. So, that's just kind of gone on transfers. I, again, I don't know if you saw the tactical episode or if it's come out but i don't really want to waste that just yet i kind of want to wait for the regen to come through so we'll see what happens but he came up he was just there as available to sign uh he wasn't on the transfer list i didn't know anything about him i took a humongous risk but he's good so i'm happy he's also on quite cheap wages like 25 a week tactics changed um <laughs> It's the same thing as what we were playing, but instead of trying to use player roles to get him into those positions, I've just put him in those positions. So it's still a 4-4-2 in my eyes. But Horat is actually playing further back defensively, so he's actually in his proper role. Um, and then Walson, the left winger or striker, is actually now a left winger. Um, he seems to track back a bit still, so that's good. And then we've just changed this guy to an advance forward when he was a poacher, just because I think it's a... <laughs> It works better for the formation. We'll see if it works for him, though. So, yeah, we are lacking a couple of players uh, today. So, Yuki, the striker that just came in, is injured. Um, he sort of appeared because Wilson got an injury for a few weeks. But we didn't play for about four weeks of the five weeks he was out. So, it's turned out to not be so bad. So, we will actually have some depth up front. And I might end up playing Yuki further forwards because, I mean, Wilgins is good. He's only 18 as well. But will he actually get to his potential? <laughs> Probably not, probably not. But seeing as you don't know the team too much, I still don't know the team horrifically. I kind of know the first 11's names now and what they're good at. 
the key players, I mean, Didier Menard are disgustingly old goalkeeper. His reflexes are dropping as they would as you. Oh my God, he's, he's 44. Uh, he's going to be like 46 by the time his contract finishes with us. That's crazy. Let's hope he gets there. Um, but he's improving for the most part, so that's good. Uh, he's key. Orlando Galindo, the Venezuelan centre-back, 31, but yeah, 25 a week. Crazy. He is really good. Uh, I like him. I like him so far. Other key players, so Hora as a defensive mid who is very solid for his position. Uh, Dorvilla is our centre mid on attack. He is kind. Of, he's pretty good. He's 21. He's fine. Wilson is just doing everyone for pace on the left at the moment. So that's good. And up front, it's sort of been a mix between a few players. But Yuki looked the part when he played, um, simply because he got in and around everyone. Uh, again, created chances. Didn't do much scoring of chance. I mean, he scored two, but he probably could have had like five or six in that three 0 game. But we'll just see how it goes. Uh, we are playing the best team in the league. I'm nervous. And yeah, I'm enjoying sort of the little equivalent of, I mean, it's called Tropical Blast Zero Sugar, Pineapple and Grapefruit. Lilt? Little Lilt? Lilt, Lilt, Lilt all? Oh dear. And then the Kraken Black Spice Rum is actual Kraken Black Spice Rum. So that's uh, a gift from my wife for Christmas, which was lovely of her because I've been talking about it for ages. Absolutely love the bottle. It's got these little, I mean, I'm going to hold it now. Look at that. Proper feel like a real pirate doing that. Should be wearing the hat again. Might put on the hat if we need it. Maybe if we score. I don't know, we'll see. I'm going to enjoy a bit of a drink now. So Don Bosco with a free kick, knock it into the box. We clear it. Can we get onto the second ball? It looks like we kind of want to, but we're not that eager. <laughs> we'll close them down. We won't put the challenge in. A couple of big challenges going on, and there it is in the back of the net. There goes all our clean sheets. So we drop down to sixth position for now. I really need to get the uh, the league table here. I don't really care about this point of attack thing. Don't particularly care about this top one either. Normally I just have match information up here. Uh, overview? Yeah, that will do. So yeah, still no idea um, how the league works. I probably, need to cut, I probably need to do another tactical episode if the one I do edit doesn't come out well. Um, but basically it splits into well, it splits into two different leagues. So you play half your games, splits into another league, plays the other half. Um, but six and six turns into a quarter finals, which is eight teams. So I'm not really sure how that works, but very confusing. We're still coming forward though. Uh, Wilson has cut infield a bit from the left, which I don't like. I kind of want him out wide. And that's exactly why, because we try and play it infield, is cramped, and Don Bosco are now breaking. They are playing three up front as well. Don't really need the best team in the league to be uh, cheating, you know, exploiting. But they're trying it, and we clear it horrifically. And they get it wired. This is not looking good. And in it goes. And in it goes. I mean, is it even they're pretty good, or are they just the best and we're like we're not that good um, they're coming again can we get it before it goes out for a corner yeah they are superb we have spent money on transfers uh, as you can see from our ridiculously bad balance <laughs> i don't know if we're ever going to make it back i need to start spending money on players i mean the window's now closed so we can't buy more players um so we could see if we do catch up with gate receipts and stuff like that oh my word it's three nil i'm gonna put this drink down there's nothing to celebrate here. And the hat is going on. I don't know if I need it. I don't know what to do. <laughs> They've scored 24 goals in five games. <laughs> One more goal and that's wiped out with our goal difference. I, I thought the way I was doing this was buy some players, right? It makes sense in my head. Try and sort of even out after a couple of years with some youth products and stuff coming through, maybe a couple sales to MLS, to, I don't know who's gonna buy our players, someone might, if they're any good. Um, and then really kick on from there. And debt sort of becomes irrelevant, I hope, once you do like the North American Champions League stuff. But yeah, it's not looking good, is it? Although we steal the ball, and Wilgens is kind of, oh, passing the ball terribly to our right midfielder. Who can't control so yeah it's not good uh we get it back though so that's good all lots of good things big ball up from jean milford is there he goes for goal alone keeper probably should have caught that but that's probably the end of the highlight it's another one of those i'm gonna have to just stick in while i'm looking like an absolute idiot just scratching my face oh yeah we are playing with 
probably not our first choice strike partnership. He says, the defence having a nightmare though. And also, I'm saying first choice strike partnership. My first choice strike partnership have never played together. What am I basing now on? How ridiculous. The guy who's just come in and played one game and got injured. And the guy whose place he was technically taking as the deep line forward. So, I don't know what I'm basing that on. It's just, it's just a massive lie, isn't it? It's the biggest lie I've ever heard. I said I wasn't happy. The assistant said, you're unlucky. And they enjoyed that a lot more. Don Bosco are good. They are really good. Oh, we've taken three fans to their stadium. I can't see them. You there? Somewhere? No, I can't see him. I'm sure they're having a great time. Oh no, I was hoping that'd be a cut. Ugh, I got another corner. I had three shots, that's good. Right, we're approaching 60 minutes. Um, I mean, they are just that good that I don't really know if I should change anything. Dorvilla's struggling a bit, so I'll bring on Obas, who's more of a natural in that position. Uh, what else can you do, really? Rizard. Can come on the left, much of a muchness. Vimar, much of a muchness on the right, I suppose. For Jean Baptiste, and you know what? Let's let's go for the old Oz tactic. Let's actually try something here. We're going to go attacking. We're going to push up more, and we're going to close down more. Um, they're probably just going to catch us over the top a lot more now. There's a highlight straight away. That is a big no, no, no. Packy Thermidor, no. What have you done? Walk the plank. Vimar, you can be a nice defensive winger on defend now. I don't know if that'll work, but in my head it sort of makes some sense. There's not a cut. I was pulling a cut face, but we're not. Should have been cutthroat. <laughs> the puns are probably... They need to stop at some point. Oh, especially when they're terrible. Oh my word, there's tackles flying everywhere. Stop. Stop this. No. It's 5-0. We've got a deep free kick. Why am I on attacking? We're down to 10. I haven't changed it yet. Change it now. I know it's too late. We'll go on to counter. <laughs> That'll work. I'm still pushing up. I'm still closing down. Counter. Sure. We might get a consolation goal. Obas lays it through for Milford. Milford! Johnny Milford! Oh. Kids are asleep. I obviously can't celebrate properly. You know the kids are asleep by now. Like, you've seen me do this before. I'll admit, this isn't the first one of these drinks I've had, but... I'm not tipsy, I just, I got optimistic, that's offside, oh jog on mate, jog on, we are going to have to kill haul someone for this and it's probably going to be Packy Thermidor, he let us down, I mean we were losing 5-0 at the time, or 4-0, we're losing something, nil, it was a lot, it could have been better, they are through again, but it just wide, oh, they are a slice above, and we've got another highlight. I shouldn't have gone to counter. We look better when we're on attacking. Oh, big challenge. I like it. You know what? I'm just going to do it the rest of the game. Not that we'll see it in this highlight. But Didier Menard knocks it long. Wilgins is there. Wilgins is onto it. Keeper puts it over. Ooh, our three fans are probably all over that if they've not already left. Corner will probably come to nothing though, you'd suspect. I know I look like a massive mug right now. <laughs> I didn't even get a highlight. <laughs> I didn't get the replay. It just didn't show up. <laughs> and I come through. Did I? Is there even a stand down this side? There's just loads of park benches. Oh, this is awesome. I love it. I mean, five two. I wouldn't say is an absolute disgrace. I'd say the pirate hat worked. I think I've got to start wearing it more. I don't think I've ever been this happy watching my team lose 5-2. <laughs> I don't think we look that bad. I really don't. Uh, I'm going to say unlucky. Yeah, that was unlucky. Right, what are we going to find? Packy Thermidor. He has nothing, so I'm going to warn him. And he will no doubt accept my warning. Warn. I mean, has anyone ever seen someone not accept a warning? I don't know, I don't know. So that result leaves us in sixth place. Yes, I've still not, or no, depending on what your question is going to be. 
um, still not actually updated the kits or logos I just wanted to get a little bit ahead because I feel like I'm going to start releasing this sooner than I anticipated to but yes we are in sixth place we do have a game in hand on everyone around us so should we win our game in hand we may go up to fourth possibly third if we lose we may drop down to seventh or eighth so next up for us is Cavalry, uh, Cavalry Association Sportive, and they are currently 16th with five games played, five games lost, uh, goal difference of minus 11. Tonight I've got to record my other offs episode, so I take off this pirate hat, and then we'll see. I'm actually going to come back for Tempet uh, because they are fourth. I mean, Baltimore are third. Let's just see how we're going. It'll be either Baltimore or Tempet or Fika. Or AS Capuas. Capuis? I don't know, I'm just really offensive, aren't I? But if you enjoyed that, please do like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and join us next time to find out how you can pirate FM18. Cheers.